Hello? Is someone there? Hello, Princess Hilda is it? Welcome. And who might you be? Are you the wardrobe department? I'm a professor, your highness. I'm Professor Ganon Slayer. I'm certain Zelda told you about me. Right, yes. Zelda mentioned something about Mario in a lab coat. Forgive me. You haven't aged a bit. Ten years and still looking good. No problem, your highness. We all make mistakes. And thank you. It's amazing what vitamins can do. Speaking of mistakes, who can I see about this outfit I found in my dressing room? I think it was accidentally left in there after the last actress used it. You should get your staff on this matter right away. This frock reminds me of one I haven't worn since I was a toddler. No, that was in there for you. <laughs> it represents the last actress, Zelda. She actually wore this? Are you kidding me? I knew she had bad taste, but I think this has gone a bit too far. Oh yeah, that dress she always wore. Trust me, I was her co-star. <laughs> hmm, somehow I thought Zelda was a bit taller. Well, I'll be right back, Mr. Professor. so funny. Okay, okay, you got me. Zelda didn't actually wear that dress on a show. Well, she did once because I pulled the same prank I did just now, so... You've been punked! <laughs> Rude. You can whatever you want, Your Highness. I'm only kidding you. Come on, then I gotta have a little fun. And if you want to borrow one of those old dresses, I'm sure she has them lying around somewhere. You might want to check the dressing room next door. That's where she really got changed. Much appreciated. Hurry though, we have a show to do. Much better. Do you like it? I absolutely love the colour. This colour is very popular in low roll this season. Oh, damn, look at it, Hilly! I mean, your highness. <sighs> Hilly, really, Professor? Hilly? Hello, and welcome to Ask Princess Zelda. As you realize, I am not your usual presenter. My name is Hilda, Princess of Lorul. So, this question is from... Jaiko Shima. Princess Zelda, can there ever be peace between the Gerudo and the Hylians? The answer to that question is quite, well, I'm not certain you want to hear it. Your Highness, that is exactly what they want. So, the viewers really ask such questions? You should see some whoppers on Anna Zelda's mailbag. Whoo wee! Yeah, Zelda's a nice person and tries real hard to answer everyone's questions. Even going as far to make those 15 minutes long. But there were some questions that were rather very rude. She threw those out because they would be offensive to the viewers, not just to her. Well, I suppose answering this one won't be too hard. To answer your question, Jaiko, it would depend on the future and which timeline you're inquiring about. I'll reference Hyrule Historia for this, the short version. One timeline says no. In this timeline, Hyrule rounded up the tribe, locked them up in the Abitur's grounds, and ran horrible experiments on them, tortured and killed them. Genocide. Princess Zelda did not condone or approve of this. Her father is the one who gave the order. 
Another timeline suggests that they were wiped out by the sands of the haunted wasteland. And Kit Johnson's hypothesis, which is totally unofficial by the way, says they escaped the Great Flood just in time and became pirates. Legend of Zelda, The Girl from the Desert. Good film. I've seen it myself. <laughs> Poor Ravio fell asleep. The next question is from Dan Romano. And he asks, When will the next Gerudo male be born? Well, Mr. Romano, that is an interesting question. According to the timelines, from what I know, the great King Ganondorf was about 28 years old when he started trouble. In my opinion, it makes sense, because when you're that young, you tend to do some pretty stupid things. 35 when he finally went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the hero of time. 65 years a new king will be born in Gerudo Valley. And let us hope he is a good one this time. The last bloke was the worst Gerudo king in history. So then, that's all. Seems simple enough of a job, and actually sort of fun. And why did Zelda quit exactly? Honestly, when the people sent in a question that bothered her, she adored them, and they her. It was Honey Studio Limited. Limited is right. They ripped up their contract with Wisdom and Power Productions, and told Zelda she was too old and fat for their studio, and it ruined their image. They resorted to hiring a re-dead in a bikini. A re-dead, I tell ya. It's a nightmare about that. Now it's six years ago. And if you ever stop saying in questions, honestly, I don't know why. That was, the show is pretty hilarious if I don't say so myself. That's awful. Wait, did you say a re-dead in a bikini? What's a bikini? Do you, uh, have any pictures of that, by the way? A re-dead in a bikini? You low rolling girls are a bit odd. Well, let's see. <laughs> Aha! There it is, and... Oh, jumping tantus! I forgot how disgusting that was! Ugh. Oh my! I can't unsee that! Ew, that is right disgusting! Mm-hmm. Very sad. I'm hoping someday she'll come home. Her people miss her and so do her fans. Honestly, this 10-year anniversary special just isn't the same without her. Is that it, then? No, it's just Royal Eclipse. We may as well. Do you want to present them? All right. Now, we would like to show you some fun memories of our beloved princess. Please, enjoy these clips.
I'm a professor, Princess. Professor Ganslayer. In fact, I have a PhD in complicated science. Zelda. Princess Zelda. I know that already. Say, Princess, what's the menswear? Are you trying to elude Ganondorf again? I still think Paris Hilton would have been a better costume. Professor, are you crying? Is that a tissue in your hand? Ahem. <clears throat> no, I was cleaning my glasses and, uh, something got in my eye. Right then. Well, I guess that's it. Ravio is collecting me tonight. He said something about pizza and binge-watching Kingdom Games on Kulu. I had a lovely time, Professor. I thank you very much for inviting me. Wait, you're not staying for cake? I cannot. I do apologize. Oh, nice to meet you, Highness. Thank you for stopping by. Am I late? Zelda? Oh my goodness, how long has it been? I see you've hardly changed. How have you been? I've been good. Say, you want a candle over coffee and cake? We haven't even cut it yet. I will have some tea, thank you. Good to see you again, Your Highness. So as one student tries to turn in his paper three days late. Maybe he was ill? Nah, he was in class all week. Get this, he pulled out his ocarina and played a song of time. I look at him like, really? You're really going to try to turn in your paper three days ago now? F minus minus. The minus was for effort. <laughs> I would have at least given him a D plus. How many students of yours have tried to travel back in time three days for late assignments? So anyway, this one Gerudo hen party I went to was absolutely mad. I thought Gerudos didn't marry. This was the new Queen's hen night. <sighs> oh dear. When you're going to marry the first-born male in 100 years, the king, things get a little... wild. The bride was fine. However, I feel bad for the maid of honor. She's still in the fortress dungeon nursing a hangover. <laughs> <laughs>